Welcome to Benjamin TV. Today is a special segment about grass-fed beef. Now, if you watch my vlog, you know I love grass-fed beef. And you know, I'm not an expert, I'm not a scientist, uh, but generally speaking, I do feel that grass-fed beef is not only better for you, but it's better tasting. As long as it's done right, sometimes you get grass-fed beef that can be kind of tough or gamey. Um, this is like amazing piece of grass-fed beef. And I won't go into details, but there is just so much research to support the health benefits of grass-fed beef compared to conventionally raised beef. And when you, uh, you know, it's kind of a weird thing to say grass-fed beef because you would assume cows eat grass or hay, right? But in a lot of conventional practices, they actually uh, stop feeding them grass at one point and feed them grain or things to fatten them up. And when you're feeding uh, your cattle grass and strictly grass all the way through, um, they find that the uh, cattle actually is more healthy um, and they live better lives, better quality lives too. And another thing about uh, grass-fed beef, in a lot of cases, not all, in a lot of cases, they're also pasture-raised, so they're um, allowed to roam free and eat grass and they're not living in some of these horrible conditions you hear about or you've seen in documentaries um, or movies about um, some of the horrific conditions that uh, cows and uh, you know beef cattle have to uh, live in so that's the reason I eat grass-fed beef um, real simple video and you know I'm not trying to get into details you can do your own research uh, but next time you go to the store check out grass-fed beef uh, there's a reason why it's more expensive it's worth every single penny uh, to pay that extra expense to get the grass-fed beef when you can don't get me wrong I'll eat any steak that somebody cooks for me if I'm at somebody's house or at a restaurant typically those are not going to be 100% grass-fed um, I'm just saying day to day um, when I not only buy beef at the store but also I order beef um, by like the quarters um, it's always grass-fed beef and um, you can do your own research and find out if it's worth it for you. Now, I want to give a special shout out to sgffarms.com or Sweetgrass Farms. Um, Scott, the owner of this farm, invited me out to his, he calls it a farm because he says he's raising grass for the cows. He's not a rancher, which I think is interesting, but he was nice enough to have me out at his property to hang out with the cattle, uh, see how they graze, see how they live, uh, see the quality of the beef uh, before it becomes this steak. And I can tell you with 100% confidence, the best steak I ever had was a steak I cooked for myself that was from an order I got from him. Specifically the filet mignon. It was awesome. So another thing about his beef that's very unique, typically with grass-fed beef, 100% grass-fed beef, you don't get the marbling, but he has a Wagyu strain of cattle and the marbling goes all the way through and even though they're not fattened up on grain uh, like conventional um, practices, uh, they've got this beautiful marbling that adds so much flavor his beef has been said to have some really, really unique qualities in terms of uh, the quality of the fat. You know, like the fat in beef can be a good thing as long as the source um, is from a good place. So anyways, thank you, Scott, so much for having me out to your farm. I look forward to ordering more beef from you. If you guys want to check him out, I'll put the link down below. Uh, hopefully this video will help you to have a new perception on the steaks that you order. Um, at the grocery store. Thank you very much for watching. Comment below, subscribe for more videos, and I'll talk to you later.